explain what inflation is, what it explains, and then what we don't know about it still, because our audience uh, likes stuff like this. Because it's okay. So, so check it out. So you're in a studio. If I put a thermometer on your desk and maybe on the top shelf above your your knickknacks, and maybe one near your camera, we'll probably get four different readings, mm. four, three or four different. Mm. But there might be one degree apart from each other, perhaps. Okay. Well, that entire room is sharing the same air. So, and there's one air duct and one, and so, so uh, the best you can do is within a couple of degrees, fine. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. All the air is being shared. It's coming through the same ducts and the same vents. All right. In the universe, if I look in one direction off to my left and I measure the temperature of the universe, and then I look off to my right and measure the temperature of the universe, it matches to within a hundredth of a degree. That close. One one hundredth of a degree in every direction I look. And this had no explanation until inflation came along. Okay? By the way, the temperature we're reading, that goes back to the early universe near the Big Bang. Right. Mm -hmm. Half a million years after the Big Bang. The, the universe in all these directions has exactly the same temperature, better than the temperature of the air in your room. And so you have to ask, did this part off to my left talk to this part on the right? Did they get together and get what we say, what's called thermalized? Right. Mm -hmm. Now they have the same temperature and then you separate them. Now they have the same. Did that happen? How did that happen? They're too far apart right. for that to have happened. So this was a mystery until inflation was proposed. In the early universe, it's one of these releases of energy of the kind that I described to you about um, uh, uh, matter uh, and energy, a universe sliding through, tunneling out of this, right. this false <clears throat> pocket. But that false pocket has energy. Oh, by the way, what happens to the energy of the glass that's on the shelf that falls? The energy breaks the glass. Mm -hmm. That's why things break when they fall. Right. Because they started with a higher energy state. And where does that energy go at the point they hit the ground? It goes back into the thing and it shatters. So it goes back into the universe. So in that scenario, you bring that back to the early universe and watch what happens. Here's the entire universe and it's really small. Mm -hmm. Small enough so that all pieces talk to each other and it's exactly the same temperature. Okay? Then it goes through this tunneling phenomenon and you have a rapid inflation of the size of the universe, way faster than the speed of light, okay? And it expands so fast, these separate parts of the universe didn't have time enough to be different from each other. Right, how many light years are we talking about across? Uh, a half a million light years. Half a million light years, and it's like 132 thousandth of a second or something like that? Oh, oh, sorry, the inflation happened much earlier than that. Oh, I see, right. okay. So it's a very tiny fraction of a second, the right. size of the universe ballooned from something smaller than the size of a of a of a of a of an atomic nucleus right. to something that might be like the size of a marble. I have okay. to recheck what the latest size estimates of that right. are. But <clears throat> if you do that in a fraction of a second, you're moving way faster than light. Right. And what you have done is imprinted in the universe the record of the temperature that everybody enjoyed sharing before inflation and took we, place. And we see this in the CMB then, when we look yes. back at the cosmic microwave background, we can see that the temperature in this, so the, the explanation he's giving is in this room, if we just put some uh, thermometers a few feet apart, even they are gonna have different temperatures. Mm -hmm. But in this bigger example, way farther back, for no apparent reason other than inflation, they have the same temperature everywhere, which means, I mean, when you say talking to each other, that makes me think quantum entanglement most, but it can't be No, that. no, no, no. Because just, things don't I mean, tell each other how to be interacting. Yeah, 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 for sure. But how do you, how, if one part is hot and one part is cold, how do you make them neutral? You put them together right. and then they become one temperature when they're done. Right. And, and so, so whatever the universe was in the very early universe, it was small enough for it to have the same, exactly the same temperature as itself. And now you start expanding. And now if things can happen. If you expand slowly, okay, stars are born and things collapse and expand. There are all manner of reasons that you'd have a different temperature and it doesn't. Right, of course. So that's, that's how inflation can end up in the conversation.